Hey guys, my name is Rebecca aka Vegan Bodega Cat and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been on this channel for a minute, this video might not make a lot of sense to you because it's kind of like a video to like catch up with my friends on here, uh, touch base, etc, etc, especially related to camper stuff. If you're interested in camper stuff, I do have a playlist, but I just wanted to sit and chat chat and tell y'all what's going on because I thought that I'd be done with the camper by now, um, but we ran into some roadblocks, which are all, you know, manageable, except for they did push the timeline down quite a bit, quite a bit. So let's go over the important stuff. First, let's talk about my car. As many of you know, I was planning on towing my camper with Oliver, which is a Mini Cooper, and a few people were just like, oh my God, you can't tow with a Mini Cooper, false. You can, it's not like the most ideal car, but I didn't want to spend money on a new car, and Mini Coopers can technically tow up to 1,000 pounds, and I was planning to make this camper about 800 pounds, so it was doable, although like not just common, just not very common. Um, so what I did was I got my Mini Cooper outfitted with a hitch, it was gonna be great, et cetera, et cetera. But then my Mini Cooper broke down at about 120,000 miles. I lost compression in the third cylinder and it just was not an easy fix. I either needed to get a new engine or use the engine or redo the whole engine. Either way, it was gonna cost me anywhere from like four to $8,000, not four. Eh, six to eight thousand dollars and I just didn't want to put all that into an already older car that would probably break down in a couple years again. I made the painful decision to get a new car and it's a Honda HRV. I have mixed feelings about this car and let me talk to you about it. When it comes to like camper stuff, it's actually great. It's literally gonna be so amazing for road trips because like Hondas never break down, never. It's very, it's not a very breakdown-y kind of car. It's easy to maintain, it's affordable to fix, um, it's great at towing, the uh, towing capability is about 1,725 pounds and that is well above what I need. Like I don't even need to pay attention to the weight of my camper anymore because there's no way it's gonna like be that heavy considering the materials I'm making it out of and how small it is. So um, when it comes to the road trips and the road trips that I'm gonna be doing for the next couple years probably, it's literally the perfect car, the perfect car. Uh, it's a cute shade of green. I can include a photo here for those of you who haven't been able to see it yet. It's great. It was all my money, so that's rough, you know, spending all your money in one place, uh, especially for someone who is just like a little bit money insecure and I like to have savings. Like I just get stressed out, right? Um, so yeah, so I'm happy with it. It's a good car. It runs beautifully. It has a very low center of gravity. It's like, it runs beautifully. That being said, I'm not emotionally attached to this car. And like, that might sound dumb, but like, I literally love Oliver. Like, I feel like he's like a little pet or like a little child. Um, and to the point of like, I don't even name, I haven't even named this car yet because like, I don't even feel like it has a name. Yo, you're probably laughing at me. You're probably laughing at me, but it's okay. I'm just like putting my thought process out there. Anyway. This car, this car that's like wonderful for me, but I don't have an emotional connection to. Um, so it's gonna be my road trip, like road trip car, and maybe over time I will establish a connection to it. We'll see. Um, it's gonna be my road trip car. I have to get a hitch installed again, so I have to remember to make an appointment with U-Haul to get that installed again. But it's okay. In the long run, it is gonna be much better for my travels. I was going to sell Oliver for parts, but now I have a second cockamamie idea. Where'd the word cockamamie even come from? Anyway, it's probably a dumb idea, but I just do dumb things, it's fine. I might just keep him. I might just find a place to store him and then over the next like six to eight years where I cross my fingers will have more money, I can just fix him all up. And then when I'm done with my travels, I go back to using him. Because something else I don't like about this car, oh my God, the parking. Oh my God, the parking. My Mini Cooper is great to park in New York City. For those of you who don't live here, there's very little parking around here. And when you do find a spot, it's often like really small. So for people with bigger cars, good luck. And my new car isn't even that big, but it's already like three or four times as hard to find parking. And the more frustrating thing is, as I'm driving around looking for parking, I'll pass three or four spots that would have fit my previous car. So that's just like very fr frustrating, especially when you're looking for parking for like half an hour um, and you have to be somewhere. Very frustrating. So um, I might keep Oliver. We'll see. 
that's one topic. The second topic is the actual camper. So the main reason why it's been taking a lot longer than I thought it would is because we're building outside. And outside has two limitations. The first one is rain. I can't work when it rains. Um, the resin I'm working with has, it's finicky and it can't, you know, come in contact with any sort of moisture. And also it's just really difficult to work in the rain. When you're working with wood, you can't. You have to work with like a giant tarp on top of you and then like tarps leak. So rainy days, out of the picture. The second kind of day I can't work on is any day where it's over 85 degrees um, because again, the resin won't set at that high of a weather outside or humidity. So, um, obviously it's been summer for the past few months and it's been an exceptionally rainy summer on top of that. Um, so the days where I have time to work, because I, I, I do a lot, I don't have time to work on the camper more than a couple days a week. Uh, the days where I do have time to work or my dad has time to work, uh, those are cut into like a third because two out of three of those days It'll be raining or too hot. So that took the two-ish months I thought it would take to build the camper and turned it into like question mark. How many months? I don't know. Ah! Um, on top of that, I ran out of resin and I had to order more. On top of that, there was a trailer shortage. I ended up going with a trailer that I didn't really want. Um, I wanted an aluminum trailer, but I ended up going with a steel trailer, which is about 100 pounds heavier. Did not really want that, but whatever at the end of the day at least i got a trailer a lot of people are having trouble just getting their hands on trailers in general right now so yeah those were like kind of the setbacks uh but the good news is it is chug chugging along um i am i did take some video footage of us building it so i will be making a new like building video soon to show you the little progresses we're making also filming takes time so i just can't work as quickly when i'm filming so i've been filming a little bit less for youtube my apologies i just really want to get this thing done you know i have been building it it's been going good like smooth enough you know like no big hurdles it's been <laughs> it was crazy like turning it over to work on the bottom and then turning it back but we did it and i don't want to show you visuals because i'm gonna have like a video later where I show you like what stage we're at but the gist of it is we finished the whole outer part we're working on finishing the doors uh, and the back and once the doors and the back little hatch part are done I basically have to sand the entire thing and then put some sort of finish on it the resin can't be like the last layer because resin will degrade over time so I have to get like some sort of varnish to put on top of the resin other than that we have to do the whole electrical system inside obviously resin and sand the inside I haven't done that but then resin and sand electrical system which my brother Theodore is gonna help me with y'all don't see Theodore very much because he's a little bit camera shy but he is great with electronics he helped me map out the entire electrical system for the camper and I'm so grateful for that we're gonna do the electrical system and then we're gonna do the insulation obviously I need to get a hitch installed onto my car but that will take one day it's not a big deal and if anyone and if if y'all could stop ask me when it's gonna be done That'd be great, because I do not know. I do know, though, I am insistent on taking a trip in it this year. I'm insistent in taking at least one trip and hopefully two, but crossing our fingers. At the very least, I'm planning like a big trip for next year, so that's gonna be great. Ooh, I also opened up a Google Docs doc, a Google Docs sheet um, that is like open to the public to edit. So if you want to refer restaurants to me, I'll include the Google Doc in the description box of this video, but hear me out. Please respect the Google Doc. Please keep the formatting, like please keep it neat and tidy. There's literally hundreds of people editing this doc and I'm trusting y'all to keep it organized. I've also made it so that like you can obviously read it too. So if you're going to a restaurant, you can see other people's recommendations, which could be really cool. Um, and I'm gonna keep it open like this so that anybody can edit it with their restaurant recommendations in any state or country. There's like another page for countries. You'll, you'll see it when you click on it. But if it starts getting tampered with too much or if people start disrespecting the organizational aspect of it, I will have to close it. So again, please, 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 please keep it organized. Um, and I'll really, really appreciate that. That's my camper update. I think that's everything. Yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, thank you for your support. If you'd like to support me with the camper stuff monetarily, um, I low-key kind of need it right now after buying the new car. I do have my Patreon that's in the description box of all of my videos. My lowest tier is only $3 and 
you get access to all my videos ahead of time, but I think the better perk is access to my Finsta where I have less of a filter so y'all see like <laughs> the real behind the scenes of my life. Um, so if you want to support, it's only $3 a month. Um, up to I think the highest tier I have is 15 so um, pretty affordable for almost anybody and if you can't support financially then please subscribe if you're not subscribed just subscribe it means so much to me um, and it only takes like one second that's it for my check-in video I should do these every once in a while not like camper related just like ramble for people who are interested because I feel like I ramble a lot on Instagram so people can like stay in tune with like my life and stuff but YouTube I always feel like I need to curate the video so much more and then people don't get in touch with me as a person which I don't like I'd rather you know hang out with y'all more personally that's all I have for today hope you're having a great day like if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe if you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day up on my Instagram right here I also have a TikTok I don't mention that enough I have a TikTok and and it's fun I've I've enjoyed TikTok more over the past months uh, when it first came out I was just like bah humbug young people shit but no i am young people i still am young people that's all i have for today i will talk to you next time goodbye shout out to all my patrons but especially my bodega bosses and my og bodega babes jessica christina marlene lucia alex creates ellen michelle laura kaylin marielle alex of planet earth jenny gemini janine curtis stacy michelle eduardo chloe erica sunny Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, and Shanta. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.